Just as I was posting this video, Apple took down the FaceTime conferencing servers to prevent anyone from exploiting this bug, either maliciously or as a prank. So for now, until Apple posts the fix and restores the service, you have nothing to worry about. You just won't be able to make FaceTime group calls. For all the background on what's happening and why, keep watching. A serious bug has been discovered in FaceTime's new group call feature that can be exploited to allow instant access to your microphone and potentially your front facing camera. I asked Apple about the bug and they provided me with the following statement. We're aware of this issue and have identified a fix that will be released in a software update later this week. So what the hell is happening and what can you do about it in the meantime? I'm Renee Ritchie and this is a late night, last minute priority intercept edition of Vector. News of the audio bug first started making the rounds today on social. It was picked up and reproduced by 9to5Mac, BuzzFeed, The Verge, and many other outlets. That's where the video aspect of the bug was first discovered. The bug works by starting a FaceTime call and then quickly adding yourself as an additional caller, which tricks the system into thinking the conference call has been answered and starts relaying audio from the person you called. If the person you called then clicks on the power or volume button to mute the call, it can start streaming video from them as well. Thanks to Continuity's call relay feature, the one that lets any other iOS or macOS device on the same account make or take calls, including FaceTime calls from any other device, if you're logged into your FaceTime account on multiple devices running iOS 12 or macOS Mojave, the exploit becomes exponential. All of those microphones could potentially be accessed. Yeah, as bugs go, this is the worst. After years of relative inactivity with iOS 12 and macOS Mojave, Apple greatly enhanced and expanded FaceTime. In addition to Memoji and AR stickers, Apple added FaceTime group calls, which finally allowed for multi-user conference calling through FaceTime. It's that part, the new conference calling feature called FaceTime group calls, that's at the center of the bug and exploit. So if you're still running iOS 11 or macOS High Sierra or older and don't have the new FaceTime group call feature, you can't be affected by this bug. Like I always say, no matter the company, no matter the feature, bugs happen. So what matters is how a company responds when, not if, they do. And according to Apple's statement, this bug should be addressed in a matter of days. Yeah days, not hours, because Apple has to implement the fix and test it first. Rushing out a bug fix is a great way to create more different and potentially even worse bugs. In the meantime, if you're just dealing with a single device, you can double click the power button on off, AKA sleep wake to immediately kill any incoming FaceTime calls you don't want to answer. Just be aware that if your device is in your bag or across the room or even any way out of reach, your audio could be live up until the point when you kill it. There have also been some reports that leaving your device in do not disturb mode prevents the ringing and hence the exploit. Just pull down control center and hit do not disturb. You may well miss other important calls while in DND though, so consider it carefully. If you're especially worried that someone might try to spy on you or just do a dumb prank, you can also turn off FaceTime on any and all devices, especially multiple devices you don't normally use for FaceTime until Apple pushes out the patch. Just go to settings, FaceTime, and hit the off button. So yeah, this absolutely positively sucks. And even though hundreds of millions of lines of code being hit by hundreds of millions of people means it's always going to happen, it should never, not ever happen. But again, Apple says they know what the problem is and are already working on a fix. So now, real talk. I didn't have time to come up with a silky smooth sponsored transition for this, but Skillshare has been kind enough to support the show all week. So check them out via the link below. Then hit up the comments and have at it. And thank you so much for watching.